Welcome to Life with David. I'm David, and today I'm focusing on repairing another chair. We have electric reclining mechanisms in our couch. Unfortunately, the one on my wife's side became very intermittent and has now stopped working altogether. You know the saying about mama not being happy. So why don't you join me as I repair the electric lift mechanism for my reclining couch? I'd like to spend a moment on safety. There's nothing more important than keeping you and your loved ones safe. Be sure to read, understand, and follow the safety rules for your tools. Using your tools properly greatly reduces the risk of personal injury. And always use the appropriate eye, hearing, and respiratory personal protective equipment. Today we're working with a low voltage motor with a very low gear ratio. Although the electrical risk is pretty small, the pinching risk is very high. In a contest between this mechanism and a finger, the mechanism will always win. If you're following along, you're doing so at your own risk. And if you don't feel comfortable doing any of these activities, then don't. Now let's get started. Some of you might think, wow, this is the second chair video in a row. What do these people do all day? Just sit? Well, at this time, it's cold outside. We're staying home because of COVID, and there's a lot of snow on the ground. So yes, we're spending a lot more time on our butts than we should. To be fair, when we purchased this couch six years ago, we wanted manual recliners, but we could only get electric ones. We really liked the couch, so we wound up with electric recliners. A while back, the reclining function became intermittent. Sometimes you could, would push the recline button and nothing would happen. Usually, you could quickly cycle between the recline and upright buttons, and you could restore the reclining operation. This workaround bought me about three months, which allowed me to observe the failures. This led me to suspect burnt or faulty relay or switch contacts. Finally, it stopped reclining for good. I couldn't put it off any longer. I had to fix the linear actuator. First step, could I get parts? Of course not. That model isn't made anymore and the chair manufacturer is out of business. So either I have to fix it myself or buy a new sofa. Well, let's see what we got. I flip the chair up and find the linear actuator. The motor and jack screw are attached to the chair base and the chair reclining mechanism is attached to the jack screw nut. I remove the screws and bolts holding the actuator to the chair and remove the switch and power cables. Then I removed the actuator and took it downstairs to the shop for surgery. After I opened the gearbox and removed the jack screw and limit switches, I hooked up the power and switch cables and tried out the motor again. The motor only moves in one direction, which seems to support my theory of a bad relay. I removed the circuit board and then checked the voltage going to the motor. Again, only one button powered the motor. At first, I thought about tracing the circuit board, but I was so sure the relays were bad that I had just ordered new ones. They're only about $2 each. Both relays were the same, so I measured them to properly select their replacements. This is very hard duty for relays, a direct current inductive load, so I would have replaced both of them in any event. 
I figured that I would do additional troubleshooting if the new relays didn't work. After the relays arrived, I removed the old ones and soldered in the new ones. Then I cleaned off the flux by using a little isopropyl alcohol on a toothbrush. Then I reinstalled the circuit board and reassembled the gearbox. After I installed the limit switches and end bearing, I tried the motor. It worked just like it was supposed to. I reinstalled the linear actuator into the chair. Replaced the power and switch cables. And tested it out. Success! Thanks for joining me today. We repaired the linear actuator on my reclining sofa. It was pretty straightforward and saved me the cost of replacing an otherwise perfect leather sofa. If you like this video, or you think someone else might, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. The more likes this video has, the more YouTube will recommend it to others. And please leave a comment or suggestion for things to do. I hope to do more of these videos, so please subscribe and click on the bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get together next time for another day in Life with David. See you soon!